Major sponsors, CSC Genesis, NZCT, PTS Logistics and Southern Trusts, thank you very much for their support, getting this up and running and having this big event happen so that we can share it with you live on the Facebook page. Thank you very much for joining us for this live broadcast. My name's Luke Taplin, I'm sitting in the uh, commentary box with Stephen Florence, who is the, the recurve men's national champion. He won that this morning and now we're about to watch the women as they compete for a gold medal in compound. So women's gold medal final should be fun. So out comes uh, Linda, who was just coaching for Erin a few moments ago. Please welcome on target one, Linda Lansbury. And target two, Leah Huff. Linda Lansbury and Leah Huff head to head, gold medal. Should be fun. Yeah. Do you know anything about these women, where they're from? And this, this is one of these unfortunate situations when I actually know a lot about Linda, but not as much about <laughs> Leah. Yeah. Um, okay, what do you know about Linda? Oh, she's been in archery for a long time, certainly since before I was. Yep. Uh, shooting for a long time, predominantly a, a field archer. Okay. Uh, is obviously a, a, a good target archer as well. I believe she holds a few national records in the target scene. Sure. Uh, she's representing New Zealand in target and in field. Um, her and her husband Mike have their own archery store. Uh, Attitude Archery, as you can see on the shirts there, so yep. they've got a, a, a good presence here, so they have, um, she's uh, well into her sport in every possible level. Here we go. And she gets the first say. Linda always with a super, super strong setup. You see her really cranking into that bow. Nine. Quite a long pause. Yeah, she tends to she does tend to hold a little bit sometimes, but she's she, she's very meticulous in her preparations. Mm. A little bit of confusion there for Leah whether she was shooting or not. But looks solid. And a nice Ooh, start. Well wow. done. Hear the audience applauding that one. Loving it. Yeah. Leah kicking off with a ten. A little bit of a fright there, but that was an um, awesome response. Great start. Linda slightly up. Still solid golds. Just waiting for that 10. Ten. Nice. Two teams. Leah looking them. super relaxed and super yeah. stable at this stage. Leah half. Beautiful work. Deep breath there. And just dipped, dipped a bit low there for Linda. It might have just dipped on release. Makes for an exciting final. We see a start like this. Um, Leah. Nice shooting from Leah. In 10 9. She'd be quite happy with that advantage from the first end. It was a, it was a nice clean start. And L would Linda go into this? Probably she wouldn't like this um, tag potentially, but would she go in as the favourite? I don't know. It, it, you don't know it, enough I, about Huff? I. I I've definitely seen Leah shooting a lot, and she shoots, she shoots some, some really good field. I haven't seen her shooting tons of target, but I have just sort of come away from almost a two-year break, so sure. I don't... You I'm came away from a two-year break, you <laughs> ended up and got golf. Yeah, kind of. That's awesome. No, I've, I've, been, I've, I've been really lucky. The last couple of national events were like just five minutes from my house, so sure. I just shoot them because they're right there. <laughs> um, but yeah. I've, been, yeah, I've been away from the scene for a fair bit, so these guys could have been smashing target for the totally. last year or so, and I wouldn't actually know, which is which sure. would be a bad place to be commentating on. Uh, uh, all good. But I've yeah, but uh, three before, so you're but, good. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, Leah looking Leah looking super strong there, and um, and looking looking really really good. Look at the state of that thing. So is that carbon fiber <laughs> predominantly? Yeah, there's a fair bit going on on that. Yeah. Um, so the bow will be aluminium. Bows are the most 99% of them are aluminium. Some of the recurves are carbon. Some of the compounds are carbon too, but there aren't any here today. Yeah. Bows carbon. Limbs are generally fiberglass with some carbon laminations in there. Okay. Um, lots of different compound manufacturers. You, you do see a lot of different ones. There's, there's because of machines. The compounds are machines, yeah. and so you, although recur machines re recurve the person really drives the performance more than anything else. And and same with compound, but. But you can, compounds have very different characteristics. You can get fast ones, slow ones, short ones, long ones. Recurves are pretty much the same. We see Linda leading off the set. She sits on 26 to so Leah's 29. Eight. Just out to that left side again. Just 
just looking for that one shot that she knows is correct that she can build on. Nine. Nice shot from Leah, just a nine, but look, again, super relaxed. I think she keeps thinking that she's shooting a team and wants to walk off the line after her shot. I think that's what they're laughing at. Seven. Another low seven from Linda. Is that real long bit out the front of the bow, the pink on the end there, is that for the balance, the counterbalance? Yeah, it's, it a, stand? yeah it's called a stabiliser. You'll see all the, yeah. all the rods are called stabilisers. Yeah. And Nine. they add mass weight to the bow. They change the centre of balance of the bow, which can help make the bow behave how you want it to behave. Yep. So everyone's stabilizers are very specific and very personal. Ten. That was a nice shot, ten. Linda. So she's Hope posted she can, a 8, a 7, and a 10. Hope she can take confidence from that. That looked good. It looked like it was pointed correctly, executed correctly. Nine. And Leah with three nines. A couple of low nines there, but she still she still maintains maintains her lead. Maybe increases it slightly. Yeah, increases it slightly. See Linda really hauling back on that bow. You don't just want to sit at full draw. You don't just want to sit there. You you want to actively pull into the what we call the wall. Compound bows have cams which roll back and hit a stop. They hit a sure. they hit a physical stop. Recurves, you can only pull it back so far. Yeah, recurves. Recurves. You can pull them until the limbs break or the string falls off or you it run snaps. out of arms. Yeah. Um, but compound, they have a stop. You pull them back and they stop. And yep. so. The generally very very. You don't boring. want to sit on that. Is that what you're saying? You want to. You want to. You want to be pushing hard into that stop. Okay. And people will have their own preference of how hard and, and the type of stop that you're using. You can get soft ones and hard ones and all sorts of things. Yep. Uh, yeah. But it's important always to be pulling hard into that backstop. Uh, and uh, Linda certainly is very good at doing that. But Leah, Leah looking super solid here at the moment. She's looks quite happy. Her shots have all looked almost exactly the same. Yeah. And five points, pulling back five points after two sets. Hard, uh, but, hard but doable. Yeah, because it's a five-set game. It's, it's a five-set match. It's though. a finals. It's a gold finals, finals and yep. it's windy. So, yep. I have full confidence that Linda won't be at all panicked or worried about this. This is just, this is just her trying to shoot her game, and, and yep. Leah's going to shoot hers, and it'll all come out in the wash. A little bit left from Linda, still trending slightly left and something and low occasionally. A little bit of a, a little bit yeah. of a slight hesitation there from Leah. That was just possibly coming off the wall, just a fraction that wall I was talking about. Mm. Possibly, just a little bit of a hesitation there, and she. Linda all like that. Yeah, Seven. That will help Linda out a little bit. Little, little window there. But it is windy, so there's a big gust that just came through on that. Totally shot right on the right, right as soon as she let go. Cruel, cruel Mother Nature there. Leah is always ready. As soon as uh, Linda's shot, Leah's pretty much ready to go. Yeah, as soon as that arrow hits the target, it's your turn. That's the, the clock. Your ca clock's counting down from the moment that thing's gone. All right. So you don't want to. You don't want to muck about. Eight. Another eight. So three. eight, eight, and eight. Potentially a nine. They'll look at that later on their magnifying glass. But it looks like three eights from Linda. I'd say that's three eights from Linda. Leah's still looking quite composed. Yeah, nine. she was looking steady there. 987. So potentially a drawn in that end. Mm. So Leah maintaining her, her lead. Yes, true. 987. They'll get the magnifying uh, glass out down the end. The judge. Here he is. He's yeah, maybe she, maybe she did scrag that one. Waiting on some confirmation. The arrows are coming out now. I oh, know they're marking them. They mark them. What do they do there? Just put a little dot next to it, or yeah. So it's it's very unlikely, but there are there are possibilities of get, possibilities of getting a pass through. So you hit a slightly worn out patch of target. The arrows can go all the way through the target and out the other side. Sure. So you need to. Go. <laughs> it was there. Promise. Yeah. So <laughs> I've never seen it done in the finals because they. Yeah. I'll just they normally use nice new targets, but it does happen. The theory is you you find an unmarked hole on the target, and if that in theory should be your shot. Sure. Um, well, Linda managed to claw back one point in that oh, did she? Uh, in she, that set. She got that nine. Got it. Yes, she did. Excellent. She got that. Uh, nine. So 76 to 80. Four points. It's not. You know, that's that's in the game. The game is fully on here. Individual compound gold medal match for the women. New Zealand nationals in archery. Four points, six shots. It can go very quickly. Boom. Nice 
pass from Linda. Strong start. Leah straight up, ready to go. Very nice. smooth, mm -hmm. very relaxed looking shot. Solid nine. Linda just needs to sneak him over a little bit. Yeah. Two tens could really help putting some pressure if she lets Leah get too far ahead. That adjustment is so oh, yeah. little. Yeah. It isn't it? it, it could, they could even be going right where she's pointing them. It's just... A bit of wind, it's just a, it's just, whatever. Uh, moving around, it's just yeah. all... Eight. Eight again Eight. to that side, so 26. Leo likes seeing that eight. She can yeah, put it into the yellow, which she yeah. does. It's a 10 as well. Yeah, 10, so she picks up another couple Woo. of points in that end. That really does build it a little bit. Puts it back to maybe a six-point lead. Because so, it was four. Yep, six, got uh, two, six yeah. points now. So With it two is, sets left. Anything can happen, but it, it really is. Linda's, Linda needs to shoot 30s. She needs to be putting arrows yeah. in the 10 to put that pressure on. Otherwise, otherwise Leah can, can, can kind of cruise here. Yeah, but just it, sort of ma yeah. go through the formalities and make yeah. sure she's just accurate enough. A lot, a lot of match players, if you keep if you're keeping things close, you can really build pressure on your opponent, and they know they can't slip up. You know, if all the scores are announced. Everyone knows exactly what the stand is. You can't pretend you don't know what the other archer's done. Mm. You know exactly what's it's going right on. There. It's right there in front of you. You can't just pretend to not notice. So, yeah, you really want to be building that pressure if you can. But of course, you're just shooting your own game. It's all you can do. So going into the fourth set of five, six points is the difference, 102 plays 108, we've got Leah Huff leading, Linda, Le I keep saying Lanchbury, Lanch 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 I've, I've, Lanch I've had lots of practice. I've got to say Lakenberry, I'm getting my, my N's and CH's around the wrong way, like I'm dyslexic. Lanchenberry. Lanchbury. Lanchbury. <laughs> Remember the name. Okay. And just slacking right off on that nine. end. Nine. So oh, even nine. Yeah. Nine. Nice from Leah. So Leah, Leah just needs to hit gold. She just needs to put them in the shoot yeah. nice relaxed shots and put them in the gold. Linda needs to put pressure on and, and get these in the these ten tens, yeah. And force it, force that pressure on her. Nine. Other nine. And all the arrow holes in that target are pretty much left, apart from yeah. three of them. Amazing, eh? They've all hit that. Everyone's getting sucked over. Central or left. Ten. Nice from there. Oh, super, wow. super smooth. That's, some, that's pressure. Nice control. Eight. Eight. It's amazing that pressure, what it actually does to a, a, a very good athlete. It doesn't matter what sport. Ten. Ten, another 10 well and a shot. win. Very nicely shot. Bam, bam, well done. bam. Leah Huff finishes with a 9, a 10, and a 10. Final shot, she left handed looked, shooter. She looked really good right from the get go. Her first, her, fir her first shot looked really smooth. She barely made any noticeable difference between any of those arrows across that whole match. That was. Look at the smile. Yeah, nice. <laughs> she knows what Stoked. she needs to do. <laughs> yeah, a double fist pump. Double fist pump. You don't see them often, actually, the double fisties. They're nice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, well done to her. That's Leah Huff. She takes yeah. out the, uh, the she, gold medal in New Zealand can, Nationals. I think she can laugh about the nerves now, but she did she did exceptionally well. So that was, that was good stuff. And well done to Linda for, um, for, the, for making the gold medal match and, and making a silver. Well done. Yeah, well done, Linda. Good shooting. Congratulations. She'll, she'll be back. She'll always be back. And there is your champion. Leah, pretty stoked. Well done to Leah.